Guten Tag, ich bin James York and welcome to Cozy Languages. This is my own challenge of learning languages and this time I learn Deutsch. Tag 4, Day 4, Lektion 4. So today I've taken the new song. It was quite a short one, but actually it is more complicated than the first one. So that's why today I work only for 30 minutes. And I'm going to analyze the first part and tomorrow I will work for one hour and I will analyze the second part. And let's start. So, the song is named Anushka. So, this song was presented in Eurovision. And it is actually a very good song. I love Eurovision. That's why a lot of songs in that challenge will be from Eurovision. As always, first of all, I'm going to read everything and then I will discuss It with you. Must nicht weinen, kleine Anushka. Echt kommt wieder, kleine Anushka. Wenn der Frühling kommt, wenn die Blumen blühen, blühen, ist er wieder bei dir. Okay, let's start to analyze. First line. Must nicht weinen, kleine Anushka. No need to cry, little Anushka. So, must. Need. At the very beginning, I wanted to find this verb. And actually, this is the verb müssen in the infinitive. And as well, in that line, we finally know how to form the negation. Well, muss nicht weinen. You use the verb, then you use the word nicht, no or not, as far as I understand it, plus infinitive. So I hope this is the only way. <laughs> no changes after all. Weinen. Well, the verb to cry. In English, we have the verb to whine, W-H-I-N-E, which may have uh, the same roots as whinen. Kleine Anushka. Well, I know the word klein already, but I see klein and I was like, oh my god, it will be complicated. And actually, it is complicated. So over here, you see a little table. <laughs> Nicht kleine. So remember, yesterday, And the day before yesterday, I discovered that adjectives, they may be of weak, strong and mixed forms. Let's analyze together. I've taken all adjectives of all forms, but only in nominative case. Let's see, let's start with the weak form. So, weak form, as far as I remember, this is the form with definite article der and some other word. In masculine, feminine and neuter singular, we will add to the adjective the ending e so it will be der kleine das kleine and die kleine in plural we add the ending en die kleine and i said to remember because i had a lot of en words but i'm not really sure whether it is connected or not for now let's continue so strong these are adjectives that are usually used with ein mine and kein as far as i remember in masculine, it will be ein kleiner, so with the ending er. In feminine, it will be ein kleiner, the same as in weak form, just we change the article. In neuter, it will be ein kleines, well, something new. And in plural, kleinen. So there is no indefinite article in plural, just kleinen. And hopefully, strong and weak forms, they are similar in plural. Next, mixed. So these are, as far as I remember, adjectives without articles with no words at all. So masculine, kleiner. It is the same as in strong, kleiner, with the ending er. Feminine, kleiner. And here I was like, Phew. okay, so feminine singular, they have the same form, kleiner, just with the ending e. Neuter, kleines. Okay, the same as the strong one. And plural, klein. And here my brain completely collapsed. Zusammenbricht. If I can say in that case, Zusammenbricht or just bricht, I'm not sure, but it completely collapsed. <laughs> Because I was like, okay, but where is the logic then? So, as you see, this is the example of how the adjective is going to change due to its particular form, whether it is weak, strong, or mixed, and due to the gender, or whether it is singular or plural. Then I've taken the second line, so er kommt wieder kleine Anushka. 
And here I found the word vida, which is translated as back. And actually, I found that there is a verb vida common, which is translated complete, literally like come back. But it, it is quite confusing that in the infinitive, vida common, literal translation is back come. Why do we say back come, but in the sentence, er kommt vida? Why do we change the position? This is another question for me. For now, I don't really understand it, but okay. Wenn der Frühling kommt, wenn die Blumen blühen. Wenn. Beautiful word, when. Similar with English, when. Der Frühling, spring. Now I want to know all the other seasons. So, first of all, I need to mention that all seasons are masculine, work because we have the article der. Der Winter, winter. Der Frühling, to be in plural, der Frühling. So, it will change. Der Sommer. So it is summer, close to the English one. And der Herbst. Der Herbst. And der Blumen blöhn. Der Blumen. Flowers. I see the ending en. And I remember that the plural, en. Or either it is just en. And der Blumen, I haven't searched for this one. But as far as I understand, it is plural 100%. And Blume, maybe it is feminine. Now we can say das Tisch, dir Glas und dir Blumen. <laughs> and the last line, ist er wieder bei dir? He'll be back with you. Ist er, okay, very interesting moment. I'm not really sure why do we change the position. Ist er, not er ist, but okay. Wieder, again, our word wieder, back, bei, with, and dir. You. So we remember, dear, it is the accusative. I searched for this preposition, bay. In what case is it used? Now I understand the logic of German that if you see a preposition, it is the case. In dative case, what questions do we ask ourselves to understand what case it is? And I found the following. So in nominative, it is wer, so which is translated as who, we remember from the first song, was, which is translated as what. And in genitive, Wessen is translated as whose, but I don't understand at all the difference between where, when, and them, because all of them are translated as who. So, if you are a German speaker, I want you to explain, if you can, in commentaries, because it, it is very interesting for me to know what is the difference between where, when, and them, because all of them are translated as who. But was tag fear. And tomorrow I will continue with the second part of the song because tomorrow I work for one hour and it will be much easier for me. So I will finish the second part of the song and I will show you what I learned so far with the second song. And that's it. Thank you very much and choose.